you've seen us on previous how-tos, how to catch potty mullet. We've set the bait traps, the orange juice containers. What we've found is they catch small mullet. The frustrating thing is, the bigger mullet are around those traps, but they don't go in. And what we want to try and achieve is to catch the bigger mullet so we can go out and do dew fishing at night when we're at places like here we are at Wanboyne, Malakuta. Any estuary fishing, we want to fish for dews. We really want the bigger mullet. So we've come up with a little idea of how we're going to attempt to get big mullet into a trap. Generally when we go for our potties, we're on shallow banks. We can see a lot of sand, but we've thought about it. We've come into an area where we think bigger potties must be. We're looking for the reeds. There's a lot of logs in the water, sticks. You sort of drive around and you sort of sightsee. We look for where potties may be, and we've actually found a really nice school of potties. As we said before, we mentioned the little traps. Here's what we're talking about. We've got little traps set here in the water. There's nothing in it. Because why? We found a big school of potty mullet, a big ones, the ones we want. And this is what we've actually had manufactured. We had it asked to get made for us, and this is what we're talking about. Look at the size of those mullet in there. That's exactly what we were trying to achieve. Big potty mullet that's going to attempt Jewfish. So that is just a fantastic effort, and that's what we spoke about earlier. We've chosen area A, reedy, logs, it looked like it's going to hold fish. We came in here, we just looked around a little bit with our Polaroids, and we saw some nice schools. Here we are, we set the traps, and that's the proof in the pudding. These little traps with the little holes. They're great for getting school size, little potties. That's not what we're after. What we're after is what is here in this trap. The big mullet that we believe is going to tempt a mulloway. Jewfish fishing. We'll come back in a minute. We're going to get these potties into the live well. And we'll come back and we'll just show the trap. And we'll show why we believe it works so well. We'll try so just we'll showing you back. how the trap works. And this is about the size we've been getting. So that's one of the smaller ones. You can see it really attracts a good size size fish which are uh, which is a great bait for a good Jew. So it was about end up being almost 20 fish in that trap. So it was a, a good a good haul. Okay so we'll put the potty mullet into the live bait tank ready for a session tonight. We said we'll come back and show you the trap. This is what we got manufactured. We got thought about it. It's got a nice big opening. That's what's attracting the bigger potty mullet to come into. We've got that at 70 mil easy to get in as you saw the proof was in the pudding the bigger potties were in the little traps had nothing we also put some little bleed holes here why did we do that well as you submerge the live bait trap there's no air pockets so it sinks straight away and then when it's in the water it's clear there's no air bubbles or anything so that's why we've actually relieved it plus it helps in draining it once you get it out so all we did is, as we mentioned, we found a nice area. We saw the potties. We came in. We obviously have our breadcrumb. That's all we're doing. Some people also like to put a little bit of actual crust of bread. We just submerge it. And the good thing with the perspex is it's clear and it sinks. You don't need any rock, any sand. So we're obviously filled it up a bit. We chucked in our crumb. You know, a fair bit. We are targeting the bigger mullet, so we want a bit a bit of crumb to attract them and the beauty of this is it submerges straight away nice we're probably putting in about probably six inches under the water put my hand in there just to relieve any if there is any air bubble pockets and there she is nice and submerged see the crumb there if I submerge it the crumb kicks up works around the best thing with potting mud collecting is as well, get away from the area. You've set your trap, go away. Don't watch them, 
leave it for 20, 30 minutes, come back and have a geezer. Put some more breadcrumb in if you need to. Just don't watch them, because you will spook them. But that's how we found the trap to work. You've seen the proof in the pudding with the big ones. As we said, and then it's easy to drain. We mentioned how we got these manufactured. We're going to try and get some more made up. So if this is something that's of interest to you, we will be actually trying to sell a few. If you're interested, get onto our Facebook page. We'll have a little link there about these traps. Drop us a line and we'll be able to give you a price of what they're going to cost. And they're very, very effective. They do work. So check us out on Facebook. If you're interested, give us a buzz.